let's talk internet weather. So we got the top 10 most probed ports. A lot of it looks pretty similar, but we'll get there. Uh, port 23 TCP is Telnet. That's been the king for forever. Below that is port 22 TCP. That's SSH, also been in the top for forever. 1433 is MS SQL. And number four, 8291 TCP coming out of nowhere. It's incredible. We'll definitely talk about it. Uh, port 445 TCP is SMB, 21 TCP, FTP, 8545, Ethereum GF, 3389, Remote Desktop Protocol, 80 TCP, and 1911 are Web and Tritium AX, I think. That being said, that's the most probe ports. The most sources probing, 8291 wow. in second place. What's going on? There is a brand new port on the scene and it came out of nowhere in the last 48 hours as of this taping. This appears to be a vulnerability in Microtik routers that has been around for a little while, but only now are we seeing significant scanning. And boy, is it significant. So most of the ports we've seen here before, I'm gonna skip and just name this, the ones that are a little bit different. 81 TCP is an alternate web port, and 5555, I believe, is Android ADB. And the rest are pretty common sort of stuff. But let's get to this. 8291. Microtik Winbox service coming out of nowhere, as you can see. Scan sources suddenly peak around the midway through the 24th. So as of this week, this is brand new. So what's Microtik? They, they make routers. Okay. Um, this is a port that's characteristic of these routers. This Winbox is a, a management port. It turns out there's a vulnerability in these things, but it's not in Winbox. This is just a quick way to identify mm. which of these boxes. If this port is there, you found the right thing. It's a lot easier to do this than it is to say, try 80 and then try and parse the results from 80 and figure out what you're looking at. Um, so there is an exploit. So they're calling it Shimei Red. I guess whoever came up with this was a beer fan. Yeah, right. um, but the vulnerability is on port 80. Um, turns out that what people were saying is the malware that's being dropped in this campaign is the Hajime botnet. And once it's on there, it's scanning again. So they've added this to their repertoire. This is one of several different vulnerabilities they seem to be pushing. Did anything end up happening in terms of patching or? Yes, this vulnerability has been patched. If you patch, not only will it patch according to Microtik, it will clean this up for you. Oh, okay. So if you've got these devices, now is a great time to patch yeah. because this thing is spreading kind of like a worm across the network. So definitely pay attention to it. You know, this one really jumped out of nowhere and I think we'll probably be hearing more about the, the vulnerability there and, and the changes in the Hajime botnet that have gone in to take advantage of that. So port 23 TCP Telnet has actually seen a spike in the last uh, day or so, but it still continues to be a, a significant amount of scanning consistently. Um, but I don't expect that to stop anytime soon. Port 8545 TCP, which is Ethereum, uh, Turns out that this GF was exposing RPC to the internet and people could just sort of stroll in and grab your money. Mm. So people were doing that. Uh, we did see a spike back here, I'm gonna say the 21st, and it's from one major source in the Netherlands. But there's also about 50 sources in China that are consistently contributing to the scanning as well. So we're keeping an eye on this one. Okay. Uh, SMB, I like to revisit it every time I can. This is 365 days, mostly to show the trend. Uh, there's actually, it, it appears, maybe it's just not the, the peak of the week yet, but it appears that it's actually trending down slightly mm -hmm. at this point. But you can see the long history of it. Um, and yeah, this was our spike back when WannaCry happened, and then eventually, over time, it's been growing. Um, but yeah, this one's still a contender. Oh, yeah. Uh, and 5555 TCP is this Android ADB port. I just wanted to keep an eye on it because a couple shows ago I had reported on it, and we haven't really seen... We've seen spikes here and there, but overall, it appears to be trending downwards. Okay. Uh, and this is scan flows, not scan sources. It seems like there's a, a small number of sources involved scanning on this. And one more that I thought was kind of an interesting grab bag one, which I don't fully understand yet, is this port 50802. And it seems there's been sporadic scanning from a single source in the Netherlands, but significant number of scan flows per hour um, coming up around 50, 50 million, I want to say. Wow. Single source, though. That's, single source. Somebody's that's... really hammering on it, yeah. yeah. We're not really sure what vulnerability they're chasing, but it seems to be one source, and that's particularly interesting. There's vulnerability, only one person knows about it. Oh, yeah. Or at least one, That's it's, pretty all, it's all going through one source. At least. That's pretty suspicious, right? If yeah. only one guy knows about it, maybe it's something no one else knows about. Yeah. It's possible. So I'd like to keep an eye on that one yeah. too. And that's the internet weather. Oh, thanks, Matt. Very interesting. <laughs>